when, when, you, when you use science, good things happen. You know, it's amazing. You start like analyzing the facts and you know you, you, you reason things out and and you get better results uh, than when it's just politics. Um, but but also the federal government has to listen to local communities because there are some legitimate interests that are in conflict. In fact, the matter is, is that you know when I come to a place like Oregon or Nevada or some of these other western states, you know, there is a tension between the desire to protect the environment and the legitimate concerns of people who are working in some of these industries. And you know, you, you can't just dismiss those economic concerns as well, you know, they're unenlightened or they don't understand. Listen, they're paying their bills and they've got the same hopes and dreams and aspirations for their kids. So for the federal government, I think it's important to sit down with local communities and to bring all the parties together. You know, farm interests, timber interests, environmental interests, uh, and to listen, use, use science, use facts, understanding that the, the guiding principle should be sustainability. That if what we're doing is simply running down and using up our natural resources and destroying the beauty of oil, then that's not a good plan. If, on the other hand, we're using science to figure out how do we sustain a legitimate timber industry or, you know, a, a with legitimate farming interests, and at the same time know that 20 years from now, or 30 years from now, or 50 years from now, or 100 years from now, people can still enjoy the benefits of you know this extraordinary resource. Then we're doing right, and that will be my guiding principle. All right. All right. We're gonna I'm gonna talk for one last time. This uh, young lady here, we've got to get the next generation in here. So. Um, I was just wondering what your feelings were on stem cell research. I am I, I am a strong supporter of stem cell research. Um, you know, uh, now understand understand what the bill has been that has passed the Senate and the House twice now and has been vetoed by the President. This is a bill that allows for the use of embryos to create stem cell lines that are going to be discarded anyway and have been produced as a consequence of couples trying to, uh, trying to, uh, I'm sorry, what's that? Conceive, that's the word I was looking for. Trying to conceive. It's been a long week. <laughs> Couples that are trying to conceive. So, the, so there are strict ethical guidelines around how these would be used. This isn't a matter of manufacturing embryos to, to produce stem cell lines. This is, you know, these are uh, embryos that would have been destroyed anyway. Now, it turns out that there have been some scientific breakthroughs that may allow us to produce stem cell lines without the use of those embryos. And if that's the case, that's wonderful. That removes the tension. But until those uh, technologies are proven, I think for us to say that we would deny the possibility of making serious progress on debilitating diseases like Parkinson's, or Alzheimer's, or or juvenile diabetes, or or Huntington's disease. You know the uh, the notion that we would not want to relieve suffering that that uh, doesn't make sense. And and it goes back to what I said before about the importance of science. You know, I, I think that science doesn't solve our most important problems because our most important problems are how do we live together and how do we recognize ourselves to each other. It has to do with values, it has to do with ethics, and it has to do with morality. And, and those are issues that we have to battle all the time. But, but, but science
science can help us make good decisions, 